if you have parked in San Francisco, you must have fed a meter at some point. The hours can change, the days there in force can vary, and sometimes even the rate can fluctuate. But have you ever wondered how much money they take in? Well, our media partner, the San Francisco Standard, did. They have a new article out that looks at the annual revenue from meters, and it turns out not all meters are created equal. Joining us live now is the Standard's reporter, Noah Boston. Hey, Noah. Hello, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. What made you want to deep dive into parking meters? Yeah, I mean, it's just one of these things that I think so many of us here in, in the city, in the Bay Area, who are visiting the city, it's like you're feeding the meter, and as I'm sure you've experienced, some of them can get pretty steep, and it really did make me wonder how much are these meters pulling in a year because it's charging some of them over $10 an hour. All right, so what's the answer? Um, actually, let's look at the collective big answer first. How much money did San Francisco take in from all its meters in the past year? It's a big moneymaker, right? Yes, exactly. So I pulled all the data from all the meters for the city in, in the past year, mm -hmm. and it's over $50 million. Whew. Okay, so who is yeah. the biggest contributor? Or I should say, which single meter is the biggest contributor to that revenue? Yes. Yeah, so there's one high-performing meter. Uh, it's on Pierce Street uh, by the corner of Lombard uh, in the marina. Um, and it pulled in 17K last year, uh, which is pretty remarkable. Um, you know, it's an easy walk to the Marina Green. It's pretty close to the Palace of Fine Arts. It's right in that zone that a lot of people want to park. And if you want to park there on a Saturday between noon and 3, that's when the rates are highest, it's 1075 an hour. Wait, so are you allowed to park there all day? And then how much does that add up to? Yeah, so you can park there all day. It's, so the city has this system where the, the price actually fluctuates uh, depending on the time. So if you, if you stay there the whole day on a Saturday, it's going to be 82 bucks. Ah, OK, wow. Yeah. Um, actually, that yeah. whole block is like that, right? Very lucrative, like very, is it a tourist area? Is that why? Yeah, exactly. It's it's by the Presidio, like I said, Mar Marina Green, Palace of Fine Arts. I mean, it's the high demand area, and you you've got I think it's about 15 meters on that block. They're pulling in way over six figures in the past year uh, combined. Ooh, and and it's not yeah. just because they raised it to you know depending on when, like ten dollars an hour. It's also uh, they've kind of perfected the art of dynamic pricing, demand based pricing, right? That's right. So the city, about six years ago, they started this program where they use the data they have from who's parking at the meters, how often are they being used, and every couple months they're looking at that data and they're raising prices on meters that are really highly used, and sometimes if meters aren't being used that much, they'll bring them down. So that's why if you go throughout the city, you might notice that, you know, hey, it was $10 over here and it's, it's just $6 here. Well, that's the city adjusting those rates um, depending on demand. All right, so based on your findings, what tips can you offer to a bargain hunting driver who wants to leave his or her <laughs> car somewhere? Yeah, well, I can tell you that the meters in Soma, in the Mission, uh, they bring in a lot less money, uh, they're a lot less used, so you're probably more likely to find um, cheaper parking there. Um, and of course, the further you get away from the really main commercial drags, the further you get away from downtown, the Embarcadero, um, the better you're going to be for finding cheap parking. Um, and the city actually has a map. You know, if you just hop on Google and search, you know, uh, parking prices in San Francisco, you can see this dynamic map, and you just kind of click on some of the we blocks where you might we be traveling it. to. Oh, you got the map up? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there so it you is. can see right there. So what, the yeah. darker it is, the more expensive, or at least the more the meter rakes in, so... Should we That's take it right. like the, red, right. the lighter pinks are where you find cheaper parking too? Does that correlate? Oh, I see. So right, so, so the, the map I made for the story, the, the lighter color meters took in less money during the year, and the, the darker color meters are the, the meters that took in the most. Mm -hmm. So I th it's pretty safe to assume uh, that if you're hey, in a darker Noah, area, it's going to so be... I'm sorry. Yeah. we got to get out of here, but I hope folks will oh. check out your article. We'll take a short break and be right back. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye-bye.